Woj, why was Golden State so intent on getting this deal done now? Well, you, you and you just described it, Hannah, the impact that Draymond Green has had on winning with this organization, three championships, five straight trips to the finals, and really the heart and soul of this organization, homegrown, a second-round pick who became an, uh, an all-star defensive player of the year. But now for Golden State, they've got their core four players of Draymond Green, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and D'Angelo Russell locked up long-term. They've got certainty with them. And for Draymond Green, uh, four years, $100 million on the extension. His total deal now is five years, $118 million. And he's never wanted to play anywhere else. He has been a part you know, of building and, and maintaining that dynasty. And, and for Golden State, for Draymond Green, this was uh, – a partnership that was easy to go forward with, especially with Golden State putting the full max out on the table for him. Can you put this uh, in context of the franchise's move to the Chase Center in San Francisco and also the level of competition there in the West being amped up with what the Lakers and the Clippers have both done? No question, Hannah. Moving into the new building downtown, it was important for Joe Lacob and Bob Myers they weren't looking to take a step back with the departure of Kevin Durant and the competitive nature of Draymond Green, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, to want to go out and prove to people that they will still be among the elite in the NBA, that they won a championship before Kevin Durant got there, and, and they're determined to try to continue to compete for titles without him, but uh, to keep him locked up, to not have to go into free agency, I think for both sides, made all the sense in the world. And, you know, it just, I think for Draymond Re Green, just a kind of reaffirmation that he's one of the most unique players in the league and uh, rewarded with four years, $100 million on an extension. And before I let you go, just on that final thought, uh, one of the most unique players in the league, the straw that stirs the drink there in Golden State, could you just put into perspective his journey out of Michigan State to becoming one of the highest paid players in the game? Well, uh, you know, a Big Ten player of the year, the NABC National Player of the Year, that NBA team didn't believe in coming out of college and drops all the way to 35th in the draft and the Warriors dynasty doesn't exist if they don't get Draymond Green in the second round and be able to bring in a Kevin Durant in free agency because financially they could make it work. Their talent was homegrown in Golden State. And, you know, Draymond Green, is the, he is the perfect counter for the personalities and dispositions of Klay Thompson, of Steph Curry, and what he does defensively, what he does, I just think is a leader for that team. It's irreplaceable, and Golden State certainly recognized that. Joe Lacob, Bob Myers, this was a priority for them. They wanted to keep Kevin Durant. He left, uh, but Draymond Green to keep him in place uh, to go forward into the future and to try to rebuild this championship team uh, they couldn't imagine doing it without Green. They don't get to five straight NBA Finals and win three titles without Draymond Green. Woj, as always, we appreciate it. Never rest for you, my friend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.